Did you know you can upload your own fonts in Canva? Yes, Canva does offer thousands of font, but at times it happens that your brand fonts are not available in Canva. So, yes, there is a way with which you can upload fonts in Canva and start using it. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Hina Sheikh and I welcome you to this YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can upload those fonts in Canva and start using them in your designs. So without further ado, let's dive into the screen and let me show you how you can do that. So once you're here on your screen, like you can see, I'm here on Canva. The very first thing you have to keep in your mind is that uh, you should have Canva Pro subscription. Yes, it is a must. If you don't have Canva Pro subscription, you won't be able to use your own fonts or upload any fonts in Canva. So that is a must. So if you are not a Canva Pro user and you want to try Canva Pro for free, my link is in the description. You can check it out. You can use my link to give to try 30 days of Canva Pro for free. So with that link, you get 30 days of Canva Pro for free. And uh, yes, with that, you will be able to upload your own fonts. So let's go ahead. We are here in the dashboard and this feature right over here, which is called as brand kit. It is only available to the persons who are Canva Pro users. So if you're a free user, you won't have this. So make sure you become a pro user using my link in the description. Now here we are and now I want to upload a font to it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. We are going to search for a font. We are going to download it and upload it so that you know how to you know, upload a font. Okay. So here are a few different resources which I often use to find different fonts. So at times my clients want different fonts for their designs or something and I, I keep on looking for different different fonts. So these are few of my go to resources like the free resources I would say. For paid I like Creative Market and Vato and for free I like Fontshare.com, The Font and Google Fonts, right? Google Font is obvious choice for anyone and everyone who want to use the free fonts so here you will find fonts so let's choose a font from any of these websites so i just wanted to show you all of the three websites which i often use there must be many other websites available you can check them out as well so yeah let's go ahead and look for a font any font which you like like let's see i'm gonna just keep on scrolling and i'll find some font which i like like let's go ahead and use this manila the name of the font is not Manila. The name of the font is Telma. So this the thing is this font I already have uploaded in my system. So I'm not going to download this. I'll show you some other. So let's upload. Yeah, let's upload this Madrid. Okay. If you can see the name of this font is Nippo. Now we I'm going to click on this click to view family. And once I click over here, you will see download family button. When, when you click on this download family button, all the fonts will be downloaded with different weights. It can be uh, bold, it can be semi bold, the normal font, all different weights of fonts will be downloaded. The entire family will be downloaded. And if you go ahead and see the agreement, font share fonts are 100% free for personal and commercial use. So you can come over here and read about all the, uh, all the entire agreement. And I'll just come over here and I'll download it. So let me just download the PDF. I think I downloaded the agreement PDF by mistake. I'll come back over here and let's choose the font. Uh, let's choose any other font. I think I just lost Nippo. So what I can do is I can search for Nippo over here. Nippo was the font which we liked. This is the font. I'll click on click to view family and you will find this button which says download family. Let's click on it and then download now. If you can see right over here, this Nippo, .com, Nippo complete zip is downloaded. So I'm gonna unzip it. So I'll just open it and I'll unzip it. Now we have to come to Canva. Here we are in the home dashboard of Canva. Come to brand kit and over here just come to fonts okay in the brand fonts section you need to click on this upload a font button and then let's select the font which we just downloaded so it will be in your downloads over here nippo fonts and the font which uh, the font is gonna be on otf folder 
when you download the fonts it uh, fonts has ex extensions like .otf .ttf so here this font has extension as .otf as you can see the extension is .otf i'll select all of them because i want the font with all the different weights so i'll select all of them and click on open now all the different fonts will be uploaded it is gonna show you this pop up that do you have the right to use this fonts or not so yes we do we did check the agreement and we do have the rights so i'll upload it anyway it's gonna take a few seconds and it will be uploaded okay so it is uploaded as you can see nippos extra light medium regular bold light all of the font fonts are uploaded now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a design a blank new design let's open a instagram post and over here i'll check if the font is you know uh, i'm able to work with that font or not the font which we just uploaded so i'll click on t the when you press t in your keyboard we can add text right i hope you all know this now i'll just add a text so let's add sample i'll make it a bit bigger like this and now i'll search for the font which we just uploaded it is nippo as you can see all the different five variations which we uploaded all the five styles are over here now you can apply them and start using this font in canva so i hope you do remember that canva pro is required other than that all the steps are very very simple and you can start uploading your fonts and using them in canva i hope you like this video if you did make sure you leave a comment and let me know how it was so that i feel more motivated to create more such videos and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and if you want to watch about how i created a video tutorial like i have created a video on how you can create videos inside canva so that is right over here if you click on this i icon i'm not sure where it is over here or over here so if you click on that i icon you will be able to watch that video as well as i have a workshop which is coming very soon in may on may 14th so it's a 3 hour live workshop on freelancing and earning with canva so if you want to learn how you can monetize your canva skill join this workshop the link is in the description and register and i'll see you there in the workshop so that's it for this one and i'll see you there in the next one